Bagyo na. Dili, dili magbreak pa ka sa English dali na tabangi ko kay bugo ko English. Ay. Pa sa ba tabangi sa ko ba? Sakit ya kung bugtan ya words. Na bagyo bagyo, ayusin mo bagyo. Kulata ko nimo. Nay nagdurbin? Wala. Good evening Miss Bagyo. Thank you. You you are super gorgeous. So my question is trans women athletes are now being allowed to compete in women's sports events in many international competitions. Do you think that this is a step in the right direction? Why or why not? I am all for equality with all genders and I believe that we have the right to participate in any sports. However, I believe that there's a biological reason that we should not allow trans women in the women category because I believe that there's a right time for that and there's right measurements to be done. Thank you. Ito, lumalamon to ng microphone si Pampanga. Lumalamon to ng microphone si Pampanga. Why? 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 Is Attorney Annette Gozon Valdez. Hello. Hello. This is my question. There were calls by some sectors to ban movies and TV shows that portray the Philippines in a bad light. Should we? Why or why not? I believe that in every aspect, there are two things. There are the good and the bad. But it's in the matter of how we receive the images that we are sharing about the Philippines. We always share the good, the beauty there is in the Philippines. But we must also accept that in every aspect there is the bad. And we must learn and grow from that and improve the country that we are in. And hopefully we see Philippines for the good and the bad and celebrate it. And allow us to appreciate the country we are in. Thank you, Miss Pampanga. Yes, Ma, sabi 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 there are reports of online sexual exploitation of women and children. As a woman, how do we make the digital space safe for you and other women and children? I make the digital space safe by taking the lead in that action, by making sure that what I put out there is the truth and is also a message of hope for everyone else. And for anyone that finds himself or herself in such a situation, Know that there are people out there who will be able to help you, reach out to you, and make sure that you will be able to get through this, and we can make a difference together. Thank you, Miss Ball. Ani bugo bitaw tag English no maglibot ko. Next we have Miss Sambale. Sa CJ galingan mo, galingan mo soprano gud ni si CJ gud. Your question, Mr. Balas, will, 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 will be coming from Mr. Lloyd Lee. Mr. Lloyd Lee. Hi. Hi. Hi good, hi. good evening. Good evening, Mr. Balas. Oh, here's my question. A recent Goldman Sachs study found that artificial intelligence tools, or AI, could impact 300 million full-time jobs worldwide, which could lead to a significant disruption in the job market. What do you think of this? We are moving forward progress and growth, but change is not always about progress. We have to consider that manpower really pulls off the economic development of each and every country. We have to put importance in each and every person making their crops be seen in each and every aspect in the country. So we have to balance the AI and also the importance of having manpower in the country. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Mbalas. Makati! Yes. Makati. <laughs>
Your question will be coming from Congressman Sam S.V. Versosa. Ms. Makati. Good evening. Here's our question. Income inequality is still high in the Philippines. The gap between the rich and the poor remains. How do we close that gap? I think first we have to recognize what we have and the privileges that we have, such as food, education, and homes. I think the best way to address this is really through education because education holds no status quo. And every Filipino child has the right to an education, but not just any education, but quality education. Because I believe if the government can provide this to every Filipino child, then we can not only elevate their quality of life, but we can empower them as well. Thank you, Ms. Makati. Ano masasabi niyo sa top 5 Q&A na mga kandidata? Mag-ingay tayo sa comment section mga karag-karag. Thank you for watching. Sino ang nag-stand out?